the Bronx. A 17-year-old girl is dead after she was stabbed in the middle of the afternoon in the Soundview section. Another teenager is now in custody, and New York cops now telling us what may have led up to that attack. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson. It was a brutal bloodbath, a battle between two teenage girls that left a shocking sight outside of 1105 Boynton Avenue. Indications are the girls had a running dispute, and one pulled a knife and viciously plunged it into the body of the 17-year-old victim multiple times. I spoke to her that this morning, you know what I'm saying? She had a little argument with her sister or something this morning. She was mad, but she was on her way to school. So, and I got a call saying somebody got stabbed across the street. And I found out it was her. I was like, that's crazy. I was just talking to her this morning. Crime scene units arrived to gather evidence after the attacker was taken into custody. The victim and the suspect both live in the building. The awful violence happened at 2.17 in the afternoon, just as school was ending for the day. It's sad, you know? It's nothing to like. It's, it's sad. It's our kids. With so much blood on the ground, the victim had very little chance and was declared dead at the hospital. Residents of the building were horrified by the nightmarish amount of blood near the entrance to their building. We been here 30 years and never saw something in here like that. So brutally, brutally, kids. Residents say cops are usually on patrol in the neighborhood following another recent violent crime in the area and say the residents and police need to cooperate to make the area safe for everyone. For the sister and the mom to find out, it's even more sad. You know what I'm saying? So the only way to fix, like I said, fix this is to come together as a community. The 15-year-old suspect ran back into the apartment building but was taken into custody by police. Two other teenagers on the scene were also questioned and released. In the Soundview section of the Bronx, Anthony J